the challenger, former WBC international heavyweight champion, Joe Smith Jr. The reigning and defending undefeated WBA white heavyweight champion of the world, Dimitri Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, bang at the bell. God bless. So Matt, what do you expect to see in the early so vault? Looking very stern, generally. He's he does just... step in to that lead left hook as he tries to... Just needs a solid light like heavyweight, and Bivol obviously talking during the week that he could go down to super middle to land a big right hand. He looked for that big side in behind the right hand there, Smith. Almost like he felt it was always going to fall slightly short. You know, doesn't it? show any respect, doesn't care about reputations. You know, beat Bernard Hopkins, also beat. Who was the other guy to beat? Just good right hand there. From yeah. Yeah. That's something he likes to do. He's got that in common with champion. They can tip and tap a little. Yeah, I think that varying the power, varying this. It's almost like you acclimatize the power when you're the power of shots. A good lead left hand from Bivolt 20 or so seconds ago. Smith just trying to jab his way in this opening round so far. has come from yeah. Bivolt, final yeah. few seconds. Smith just trying to keep that other body on the move. Just packing. Yeah, Smith came out quick in the first Bivol, round. But Bivol, good opening round. And Sergei Kovalev, he was, and since then has kept hold of it. Just moves in behind the guard. Trying to measure him with the jab into the left hook. Great intent. He does have a good reach on him a few inches apart, so they're basically standing in range. Just pulling out of range, and then Smith kind of gets. People just landing a nice solid left hook counter there. Lovely one from Smith. Had those gloves up. Shot straight. Well, the corner there, the Smith corner, led by Gerard Capabianco. What they want from him, they're saying, is combination punching and dog expression. I think more the frustration of struggling to really land, being hurt by anything. I mean, he's a pretty tough guy. The frustration probably comes because he is within range to be hit, but actually catching him is a, is a the body then doesn't just pulls back. He's, he's always got you guessing. Think that's what's happening with Joe Smith. He's, it's quite an Eastern European far away. You don't really get a moment's peace, or you certainly don't have that. Bivol looks very relaxed, very much in control, very, very calm in there. You know, looking at the two fighters, than Joe Smith. Well, he made it might be some of the dramas we had at other weights. These two made it very, very comfortable. First three rounds has just not been that, that much. again from Bivol, you know, just Quick step, quick shuffle of a sudden, little faints, and you're, on, you know, under, you're under a lot of pressure. He's pouring up and down with the left. He's so kind of preoccupied with his own defences that it's away from his attack. He's not really thinking about attack. He's thinking with a counter right hand. Some stage during this fight, he will throw it here, but he doesn't want to be too reckless, too gung ho with it at the moment. Big man, but he just steps in after it does. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it landed, but. Uh, Bivol certainly looked like he wanted to grab hold of Smith momentarily. Like warming up now, Bivol looking for right to the body there, and they increase the tempo in this fourth round, and a lot of encouragement. Be prepared to take one, to land one. With Bivol, who's round of the fight so far by, by comfortable. I wonder if it's been enough for him to, to win the round with a good... And again, just dips his head and then looks to... I think you're right, Matt. I think he's realised that this is the way he's going yeah. under some pressure. The Smith round, uh, the Smith corner feel that he took that round. That's what they're telling him anyway. It's whether it's quite difficult to see whether that landed clean or whether it was a glancing blow. But you can see of the ring here, Smith, at the start of round five, and you've got Bivol really. He didn't have an answer to Bivol. Now it's just trying. Yeah, without well, he's got to rough him up. He's got to get close. He's a physical fight. I know he's not necessarily an inside type of fighter. We've got to. Do this the hard way, as they say. He's got to make it a rough, tough face. A bit too much there. Wasn't really Trying quite. To time that jab. 
Yeah, good. very well scored. Jump in with the lead left hook there. Between rounds, the corner was saying to him that he was chasing him around a little Deep bit. Beaten. He was having in the opening three rounds. Okay, it's not. Yeah, he's not going to outbox or. Man, I'm a more physical man. I can lean on you. I can pull down. I can try elbows if you have to. Whatever he has to do, whatever he has to do. To win. There's a slightly different complexion to this now. Move your head. Right? When you do that four or five jab combination, you'll do good. As soon as you get thrown into a combination. Career. He was barely out of double figures by the time the VA champion Smith had a dip in his career so far. He really come back into the fight. He's the faint, always looking to change the distance. Have his most success. Lovely right hand there from Bibble. Did exactly what you picked up on. Smith just walking after his hand. That's it, and you cannot afford to get caught in that no, no. Get into a bit of a clinch. You don't want to, if you do come. Around us, a ringside, stalking final few seconds of the round. The rated eardrum is during the, the course of the fight. When the cuts man was looking to put a bit of Vaseline on the eyebrows there, he was this fight scheduled for 12. World title defence for Dimitri Bivol, who's in the black. He's here. And it's a horrible injury. Happened to me a couple of times, and it totally, really affects everything. Big left, Big left hand Bivol. has rocked him the way down, but what it did do was tie Bivol up. But there's Smith trying to answer back with a left hand. And a lovely walking away. Smith again backs off himself, tries to get... His head has cleared now. There was solid That's shots. What you should do, but you've just been hit hard. The most important thing when you get hit, hit. known, the damage he done though was that because sometimes you see a fine shot doesn't really realize the full extent of it but i think more shots on. together more combinations he certainly with the club up able to protect him both of them just fencing he got home with it he hasn't been quite as extravagant with it but he came in from a long way out yeah look at the bank and then looking to try and loop that right hand over the top. Spread evenly between that front and back foot. That's what gives him such good mobility. Left, left hand. Joe Smith. Tough guy though, Joe Smith. Recovers very quickly. These are solid shots. But these are punishing shots. Goes there to get out of the corner, but he didn't quite manage to take it. He has now. Nice jab from Smith. For Joe Smith. And close round, but, you know, since then and before, then I've given Bivol everything. And, uh, Looks to try and get on that jab. Oh, just circling each other. Good sharp hand speed there from Bill. Joe Smith's more kind of side. Uh, very well balanced, very technically well scored. There's a bit of a WWE move going in there. Well, he's going to get told off for that, that's for sure. We saw that's a bit of that. Frustration. He saw an opportunity there just to just backs Joe Smith up without even throwing a punch, just by fainting him, just by the way. Very intelligent fighter, people. I love the way he's always fainting as well. Fainting with his feet, fainting with his eyes. Basically everything. So there's no great shame in Good that. Left yeah, I like that lead double left. He mixes it up so well, he never. Like I say, he's always fainting, leaning in as if he's going to throw a shot. Two. You work, he's resting, but you're working, he's fainting, he's pretending very much in first gear. Lovely jabs there, head and body then, hooking off the jab. And let's have a look at your scorecard, Matt, and you've given to Smith Jr., but it's the only round to have done that in. Other than that, it's been clear to Bivol. All like that, it's, been, it's been one-sided, but every round he's coming you know, Bivol. There's by far the superior fighter, really. All the, all the clean work, all the solid shots. I, I totally believe that he probably could do super middleweight. I'm on that myself, and actually, strange though it's 68 sounds, pounds, you would kind of assume that he would, when you compare him to Callum Smith, for example, I don't think he would be. Smith physically would be. As everyone at light heavyweight, huge for the weight. That's good work from him. Watch his feet when he pulls out of range. Straight away, he's looked like, make your miss, and then looking to make you pay. Lovely up to one to, to land one. It's not Joseph, they're prepared to take pain, they've gone into the ring, they're mentally prepared. You're not going to break someone's heart by... Igalov can break hearts because he breaks ribs and he breaks noses and he puts a lot of pain on people. Ramachenko breaks people's hearts against someone like Joe Smith. That's kind of what's happening here a little bit. 
think landed yeah in the bow and he's come out quick here at the start of the 11 interesting there they've all just stuck in and told him not to do that you will see that from referees sometimes they block your opponents view I don't really see the problem so much yeah nice one two down the middle from him yeah I think a lot of guys like to leave the left hand out there it does but it's, it's alarming and it's surprising how many times you just land that straight right hand right next to you being measured up to get hit with the right hand and next thing you know you've been hit but a good round this for Smith so yeah, far yeah it's been a good round and to get all gung ho and try and fight fight he just needs to get through and the battle of the previous round definitely definitely shook him that's nice right hand left to sat in his feet square there Bivol letting his hands go bit of damage around the left eye there of Joe Smith but he had the so 12th and final round touch between the two it maybe hasn't been quite as explosive as high quality fight Bivol Joe Smith Jr he's taken openings engineer them but at no point has he really looked step on the gas too much he just doubled Smith over and caused him to Barrera yeah, Joe Smith is one of those guys. He is absolutely had a, a tough night with Joe Smith. He shook Bivalu. I think he, in hindsight, I think he was glad that that was on the boat. So just under 90 seconds to go. We saw Callum Johnson earlier on dispose of Shawnee Monaghan. Joe Smith can produce something incredible in the last few seconds. Good performance again tonight. You know, Callum's 33 years old. Lovely right. Good combination. To be up with the IBF Kovalev with the WB. Yeah. They would be really. Yeah, I agree. I'd love to see. All those guys yeah. mix it up. Nice combination from Bivolta. Really pour it on. And shots getting through there. And maybe one just a little bit late. It was Smith who was under pressure. Smith, but nothing too serious. To the winner by unanimous decision, Dimitri Pivol.